Hello students, hello viewers, welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is trigonometric graph. Lesson 6, Selected Problems, Part 3. And we have example number 3, a part of it. Copy and complete the following table of values for y equal to 3 sine 2 theta minus cos theta. You have the table of values with some values missing for y. Be part of it using a scale of 2 centimeters to 30 degrees on the theta axis and 2 centimeters to 1 unit on the y axis draw the graph of the given relation for 0 degrees less than theta less than 180 degrees see part of the question use your graph to find d maybe go one solution of the equation 3 sine 2 theta minus cos theta equal to 0 correct to the nearest degree maybe you got 2 a maximum value of y correct to one decimal place that is remember you got 1 and 2 for part c of this question we have the solution and what we must do first is to complete the table of values for the given relation over the range of values for theta for us to get the values of y we have to do just two things that is computing 3 sine 2 theta and cos theta then subtract the two results already you have theta ranging from 0 degrees to 180 degrees so let's get sine 2 theta this means you have to multiply 0 by 2 to have 0 degrees sine 0 is 0 0 times 3 is 0 hence you have this 0 when you come here you have to look for 2 theta so 2 theta means 2 times 30 degrees and that is okay 2 times 30 degree is 60 degrees so you have sine 60 degrees you get the answer multiply it by 3 to one decimal place you have 2.6 when you come to 60 degrees it becomes sine 120 degrees multiply by 3 you also have 2.6 when it comes to 90 degrees it becomes sine 180 degrees that is 2 times 90 now 180 that will give you 0 0 times 3 is also 0 and so on for the rest values cos theta is straightforward you check cos 0 degrees that is 1.0 you check cos 30 degrees to 1 dp you have 0 0.9 you check cos 60 degrees to 1 dp you have 0 0.5 and so on after that we need to subtract because the sign that connects the two terms in the function is subtraction sign so you need to subtract so we have 0 minus 1 here you have minus 1 2.6 minus 0 0.9 you have 1.7 2.6 minus 0 0.5 you have 2.1 0 minus 0 is 0 
So this one means minus 2.6 minus minus 0 0.5, which means minus 2.6 plus 0 0.5. You have minus 2.1. Now I'm saying now, the effect of this minus we make this sign to be positive. Here is positive and here is positive. So you are adding. So when we come here, we have minus 2.6 plus 0 0.9. You have minus 1.7 and 0 plus 1 here, you have 1. So this is the complete table of values you plot the graph based on the values of theta and y respectively we are now in b part of the question where we are asked to plot the graph given the scales 2 centimeters to 30 degrees on theta axis this term should not be there then 2 centimeters to 1 unit on y axis this scale implies that one line is 0 0.1 units on y axis and 3 degrees on theta axis 2 cm to 1 unit on y axis from the from the point of intersection the two axes called the origin to the end of the first bus is one centimeter if you add the next one it becomes two centimeters and you give it one the next two buses becomes two in that order when you go down the values become negative for the theta axis, 2 cm is 30 degrees. From the origin, 0 degrees, you count 1, 2, 30 degrees. The next two buses, 60 degrees, and so on. Next thing is to plot the values. When theta is 0 degrees, y is minus 1. You plot it on the y axis. When theta is 30 degrees, y is 1.7. Already we said that one line is 0 0.1 on the y axis. So here is 1.5. If you count next two lines, you have 1.7 for y when theta is 30 degrees. When theta is 60 degrees you have 2.1 after 2 the next line is 2.1 when theta is 90 degrees you have 0 you plot that point directly on the theta axis when theta is 120 degrees y is minus 2.1 after minus 2 you have one line and you have minus 2.1 when theta is 150 degrees, y is minus 1.7 somewhere here. And when theta is 180 degrees, y is 1. You plot it somewhere here. Next thing is to join the points together. At this stage, the points have been joined together we move to C part of the question use your graph to find the remember figure one solution of the equation this is the equation that we just plotted so each solution means y is equal to zero and that is the point where the curve cuts the theta axis that is just the meaning. So the solution here implies y equal to zero. And that is the point where the curve cuts the theta axis. 
and we have three points one point is here remember we said that on the theta axis one line is three degrees so we have nine three lines from zero another solution is here this one is very clear 90 degrees another one is here if you count from 150 degrees taking one line at three degrees before you get here you have 171 degrees so we have these three values for that equation remember figure 2 you should find the maximum value of y correct to one decimal place that is the highest value now the peak of the curve the peak of the curve and that point is somewhere here although the peak of the curve we're supposed to have it at 2.1 at 2.1 that is the highest value the table of value so when you trace that point to y as is you have 2.1 to one decimal place hello end of lesson six thanks for watching and learning don't forget watch out for more from the voice of peter cos if you are not safe your life is in crisis to avoid that give your life to the one that can save you and that is the lord jesus christ and confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life if you are saved already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defer others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you good bye